Hi, my name is Ms. Schuller, and I'm a teaching artist in the PACE program. We integrate the arts with the classroom curriculum. I'll be working with you throughout the year through these videos. We're going to explore lots of different subjects throughout the year. You'll recognize some of the same things you're learning with your teacher, but we'll be doing them through um, visual arts or creative movement. You might be watching today in your classroom, or you might be watching from home. We're coming uh, to you today thanks to the Katie Anderson for the Arts and the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. You can find these videos anytime through the Lafayette Parish School System's website or the Katie Anna Center for the Arts YouTube channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jolie Noel. I'll be your visual artist today. I like to paint and create many types of projects like collage, pastels, and dance. My favorite painting is watercolor and acrylic. I have taught dancing for many years as well. I have been in the PACE program for 20 years, and I actually have done a little of all the art forms in the classroom, besides visual art. What do you think of when you think of visual art? Today we're going to learn lots about lines and shapes. All visual art is made up of lines and shapes. Today the materials we're going to use are a pencil, uh, eraser, if you don't have an eraser, and you, if you have another eraser, that'll work, um, and uh, sh one sheet of paper, and a bunch of little crayons. Today we're going to be using lines, and we're going to find out that lines create shapes. We're going to practice some lines first. We're going to go over four lines, but we're only going to basically use two of them. Our first line is what kind of line is that? What's it called? No matter which way I turn it, what kind of line? Not the direction, but what kind of line is it? It's the straight line. Good. That's our straight line. Uh, what kind of line does this? Could be this way. Could be this way. That's a curve line. And we can use it for all kinds of things. We also have a line that goes like this. That's the wavy line. And the zigzag line. Actually, in art, if you can do the, the straight line, which is an L, or if you can do the curve line, which is like making the letter C, you can do anything in drawing you'd like. Because all the other lines come from the curve line. See if the wavy line have a curve here, 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 and the zigzag line and other lines. Straight line, change direction, straight line, change direction, straight line, change direction, straight line, change direction. We're going to go ahead and practice our straight line. Let me clear up my little page. On the back of your she one sheet of paper, we're going to go ahead and practice. Now, you have your sheet of paper. I'm going to do mine on here so that I can erase it. And uh, you're going to be using the back of your paper. So go ahead and write your name on this side. And this is going to be our practice side. The other side is going to be for our artwork. All right. So we're going to practice our straight line. Can you practice straight lines? Can you do different ways to do straight lines? Or different directions to do straight lines? This is a vertical straight line and horizontal straight line. Let's just do straight lines. What letter of the alphabet uses straight lines? A. How many straight lines? One three straight lines. A. We can look at other letters of the alphabet. Think about it and just go ahead and do them. See? 
we're actually kind of using the zigzag a little bit. Oh, how about different designs we can do with straight lines? Tic-tac-toe board. Or X's. Or combinational lines. We can create a pattern. Our eyes see patterns. All right, let's go ahead and uh, practice some curved lines. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this up. You can keep practicing a little bit more if you thought of something else that you can do with it. Let's try my curve line. See, that's our curve line. It's like the letter C here. What other letters of the alphabet uses curve lines? Is that a letter of the alphabet? How about that one? Is that a letter of the alphabet? All right, the U. Now we can kind of combine them together and go places. What's it look like? We could do a double one. Almost like we're doing jewelry. So that's our different patterns we can do. Or we can do a little small and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Or sideways. Have fun playing with lines. Now we're going to go ahead and go, if you'd like to pause it for a minute and do some lines, you may. I'll go ahead and clean up my board so that we can go ahead and get ready to start thinking about shapes. When a line crosses another line, it creates a shape. Let's see. Hmm. Let's try Mr. Straight Line. Huh. What line, or right, what shape if I use four straight lines, what does that create? What shape? Oh, a rectangle. What is the difference if they're all, that's close. This is a rectangle and this is a square. Notice the lines should be just about as the same size. Those would be a square if they're the close to the same size. That would be a square. How about if I only use three lines. What shape is that? A uh, triangle. Well, good, good, triangle. You could do different triangles. What could I draw with them? Hmm. Making a pattern with triangles. Or I could do a whole bunch of those. And I can do some rectangles and some squares. Have fun doing shapes with the four lines. Question, which shape is it has four equal straight lines? Oh, the square, awesome, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and try Oh, let me do another shape. Do you know what shape looks like this? That's called a rhombus or a diamond. Who in the classroom has a problem doing a diamond? Oh, a lot of my students usually raise their hand. The easiest way to do a rhombus or a diamond is to think of our alphabet. You've been practicing your alphabet for many years. The capital letter A and the capital V. Oh, let me go ahead and erase that on here and do that with you. Capital A and a capital V. Actually, all the lines should be about the same size, but it's like you're gonna do a capital A, just don't put the 
bridge across. That's your rhombus or your diamond. Practice doing some rhombuses and diamonds. If you prefer to do the V first, fine, but just do the capital A on top. That's the easy way to do the rhombus or the diamond. All right, we're going to go ahead and try using the curve line. What can we make with a curve line? Hmm. What shape has one continuous curve? Whoops. Mine didn't come out too good that time. Let's try it again. You don't have to erase yours. I'd put them all over a whole bunch. Oh, well, let me try it again. Try to close it off. Oh, that one's the best one. Uh-huh. This is another... S what shape? What shape? And you know what? Oop, some of these, what happens if I stretch it out? It's an oval. A lot of these look more like ovals. A well, circle is kind of tricky. It's the hardest one to do. Circles are kind of tricky. Oops, that one didn't close. Remember, if you don't close it, it's just a curve line. You gotta try closing it. Oh, you can do circles inside of circles. Make it look like a donut. Or maybe even a bigger one around the outside and make it turn into a cinnamon roll. All right. So we've practiced with ovals and circles and squares, triangles, and rectangles. We're going to start a project. Go ahead and turn your paper over. And let's think of all kinds of things we could do. Look in the classroom. Hmm. Look at things around. What kind of shape would you use to do your chair? What kind of shape would you use to do your table? How about the windows? The door? The globe? in the classroom that has the world spinning around. All right, so we have uh, our sheet of paper, but before we begin, let's think about what could we use the shapes to draw? How about animals? What kind of animals could we draw? Let's look at some animals using shapes. Ah, oh, we can find all kinds of shapes. Can we find circles in these shapes? in these pictures, animal shapes. What does that look like? Does it look like a fox? Mm, not really. Does it look like a hippopotamus? No. Oh, I think I heard somebody say mouse. It does kind of look like a little mouse. And this could be mm, a horse, an alpaca. If I put antlers on it, it could be a deer. Ah, some deer shapes, but we can see all different kinds of shapes in there. We can see ovals, circles, squares, triangles, and of course the rhombus. Awesome, the diamond. All right, how about flowers? How many different kinds of flowers could you draw? Somebody might draw one like this flower. Somebody might draw one like this flower. Or somebody might draw one like this flower. Is any of them wrong? No, we all see things differently. So we have all kinds of different flowers we could draw and our neighbors could draw. And how about a house? Could we draw a house with the shapes? and we could color it up. Hmm. Let me show you some more little pictures. Let's see. We could draw all kinds of things by using shapes. 
We could draw a house. What's that look like? Could be a sun. Looks like an Aztec sun. Oh, does that one look like a mouse? Hmm. I think it looks like a fox. Oh, we have flowers. We have other vehicles. And we have, oh, it could be a robot, an alien, a monster. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and draw on our sheet of paper. Um, I'm not going to use my pencil. You can use your pencil because you can use your pencil on your eraser. I'm going to go ahead and do a Sharpie because it won't show up very well if I draw on here uh, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Sharpie. Let's see. Oh, we're going to go ahead and think about our uh, the sunshine. What shapes could we use for the sun? When we're looking at the sun, we could see course our circle and we're going to go ahead and think about looking at our sun it's kind of, that's our circle and when we're looking at the sun we see the rays sticking out we could do it with rectangles. We could do it with rectangles. Or we could do it another rectangle. about triangles. So many different ways we could do it. Artwork. Hmm. have four straight lines that they're the exact same size that could work for eyes nose we have four that are the same size but they're like you're doing the A and the V, that's our rhombus or our diamond. Oh, yeah, I want another rectangle. We're going to do another rectangle. Yeah. Let's see, we have circle, square, triangle, rectangle, rhombus. We forgot something. Ovals. Oh, look, I'm going to go ahead and put some ovals in my artwork. If you didn't have any more room, it's okay if you can't put ovals there. Well, then we could do some oval eyebrows. If you'd like. Hmm. Or if you had room, you could put maybe some rhombus on the outside. However you like. What would you do? 
we can see things in many different ways. Our sunshine, when we're looking at it, we do see the circle in the center, but the rest we could just add our own version of what we think we see. All right, now that we have our artwork on our paper, we're going to go ahead and color it up. Um, yours is in pencil, so take your black crayon out, and we're going to go ahead and trace everything that you have on there. Try to stay on the line. It's like you're riding a bicycle and you're staying on the line. We don't go in the ditch. We stay on the, uh, on the road or the sidewalk. So make sure you trace each one of these so that you can trace it all up. I'm just going to kind of ghost this over with while you're listening or while you're tracing yours up. We notice all the shapes we can find in the things around us. What shapes you use to create them. People use all different kinds of shapes. We are all affected by our past experiences. Our experiences in life can help give us different perception of things. Ourselves, the people around us, and of course our big sunshine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take some colors out that we wanna go ahead and color up our sunshine. Who knows, I may wanna throw a white in there. I don't know, I wanna go ahead and pull some warm colors that are the colors of the sun. I'll talk to you more another time about warm colors, but uh, let's see. We know our sun is uh, what kind of star? What color do we see mostly when we see pictures of the sun? It's actually a yellow star. So I'm going to use a lot of yellow in my picture. think about our perception. Our perception is when we become aware of something through our senses. When we look at someone else's artwork, we can see little clues of how they see objects, by what shapes they use. We can see their perspective, how they see things when reviewing their work. Now perspective is how we see things, or the impression of uh, an object's relationship in space. Like um, a bus. Everybody in here has, ri has ridden a bus before, or has seen a bus. When we look at that bus, we use perspective, how we see things. When that bus is close to us, it looks bigger than us, but when it's going down the street, when it's far away, it looks like it can fit on the palm of our hand. That's our perspective. We are all different from one another. Let's see, we might do a different color. We're all different than from one another. There's no one way to do things. I could add, I could do red. Or I could do orange. Or I could do yellow. There's no one way to do things. And there are many ways to do things. But we must always remember to respect others and how they see things differently. I could have seen this sun a different way. I could have drawn it a different way. Know what I 
can add those colors together too. I can mix with my crayons. Some people like to mix with their crayons. Actually, I like to put a little color in here. I hope you've enjoyed working with this today. There's so many different ways to see things. Give my son a little rosy cheeks. Maybe give him a little stuff over his forehead and his chin. All right. Take a moment to view your neighbor's artwork. Notice how they may have done it differently. Thank you for joining me today. We've learned so many things. We've learned that basic lines create shapes. These shapes can create many things to express what we see and feel in the world. As you're going through your week, notice things around you. What shapes are they made of? What different shapes can they be made of? How could others see them differently? Enjoy the rest of your day, and I can't wait to see you next time.